Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Wolf. You're wondering only how are all my adventures doing. Um, today I wanted to make just a quick video to talk about something that I recently figured out about myself, and it's a bit of an odd topic to get into, but we're just gonna get straight into it. I have ADHD. <laughs> I recently figured this out. Uh, to be honest, I thought I was just a lazy sack of shit until I saw psych to gos video on five signs of ADHD. So, funny enough, I check all those marks. And it's it's bad. My, my channel even proves it too. And that's the thing. So... As I am the king of unfinished games, apparently, <laughs> at this point, like, or, or just, it's, it's just really hard for me to pay attention. One of the symptoms she said was uh, childhood history. I do remember I took, like, medicine to, like, keep me focused for a while during, like, um think kindergarten or so no it was even like the first grade or second grade i'm not sure which one it was but as a child i did take medicine to like keep hyper focused and i i forgot about this to be honest because it's been like so long um two is short attention span which i do have i it's more of like a selective thing like i will focus on one thing then something that's way more interesting to me comes up and i'm just like screw that let's go over here which is why my videos <laughs> have been not coming out the way i want them to and why i don't record every day because it's kind of like videos then it's like uh more important things interest me right now then it's kind of ends up to being a procrastination thing and i just procrastinate the whole schedule and the third thing is leaving things unfinished which i will admit i do not finish series as much as i would love to and the number one reason of that is adhd and my short attention span you know i i don't know dude i just i just <laughs> This is more of just, like I said, a selective thing. Yeah, I, I can't help it, dude. It's just like when I want to do something, kind of like procrastination of like something way more interesting, then it's just that I will never think about it again. The funny thing is the only things that I remember finishing are mostly short games and then there are horror games. I can finish horror games like pretty easily as a series, as you guys can clearly see <laughs> down in in my videos. I can I can finish horror games pretty easily. There's there's no issue with that. But when it comes to other games, it's just like, huh? He'll either finish it or he'll leave it. <laughs> so I understand like why I do this. It's just. I can't hold it can't hold my attention too much but in my head it's kind of like I want to play more of this game I want to finish it but more interesting things <laughs> or something just released and I want to play that so you know that type of shit but um there's the fourth symptom which is poor pulse control Mm. Yeah, I have poor pulse controls for sure. When it comes to like buying things you clearly don't need or if it ends up being like or doing something I clearly shouldn't do, which is making promises. <laughs> clearly I should make promises if I if my attention span is just going to be like, "Oh, no. No, no, fuck that, dude." Fuck it, dude. We're not doing that. <laughs> Which it it just can't be helped, dude. It, it, it's just me, my my nature. <laughs> I'll say, uh, 
anything can pretty much easily distract me. That's for sure. Um, it's like when I'm working, anybody walks past my aisle, my attention just immediately is over there. Like, <laughs> easily when I'm working. It happens every time. Anybody walks past my aisle, dude, I'm just immediately, who's that? <laughs> That's where my interest goes. And the fifth one is the inability to get organized. Uh, this is unfortunately true for me, considering I can't hold a schedule. <laughs> it all comes back down to short attention span again, to where I just cannot keep a schedule. Like, it's like I used to have a schedule and I kept up with it for like a week or two or nearly a month, which was impressive on my end. <laughs> but then it started to slowly go out of the window. And now I no longer have a schedule, so I can no longer be organized. And it's kind of like, I want to record ahead of time. So I'm going to make a schedule for myself. And I throw that out the window later. <laughs> it's a common thing. You guys can literally look at my videos and just be like, oh, well, he's pretty much all over the place. I have literally 2,000 videos. None of them are the same thing. None of them are a main game. None of the, All of it is just variety. Because that's how bad my attention span is with a game. If I'm streaming, I could probably complete something, actually. I think that's what it mostly came down to for horror games. Is that every time I streamed a horror game, my mindset was just like, you're streaming it, complete it. But the funny thing is that I've played multiple games that I've started up on stream and never finished them. <laughs> Like, I started up a medium a few days ago on Halloween, and, well, actually, no, I was experimenting. I was, like, giving each game, like, an hour and 30 minutes, which was pretty much still my short tension span of not being able to complete one game. And roguelikes were the games that kept me more focused, because each run was a new run, you know? That's that's pretty much my bread and butter, butter is roguelike games. Roguelike games are my favorite games because anything can happen, there's always progression, and everything is going to be new each run after your death. So roguelikes were literally just the saving grace of so many things, but... I never really uploaded them to the channel because I didn't know if people would enjoy me playing roguelike games. So I never actually went through with that. So literally my idea was going to be like, I'm going to turn my channel into roguelikes. Would anybody even watch that? Because it's just like me dying over and over again, you know, doing multiple runs. It would have to be like me surviving for a long amount of time for it to be a video because I could either have a good run or I could have a bad run. The good run could go on for like an hour. The bad run could go on for like an hour of crappy items or no, the, the bad runs can go on for like, I guess, five times in a row and that will equal up to like probably 15 or 30 minutes, you know? Maybe I could have some really bad RNG with weapons and, you know, die five times, 30 minute video. Boom, that's it. Because in my mind, when I'm sitting here, I'm like, I want to leave in like every little bit and pieces of like information. I don't want to cut out anything. I don't want to edit out anything that has me talking and could keep people interested in the video. But then again, it's kind of like people have short and tension spans to where they just can't have longer videos. And in my head, it's just like, ah, oh, maybe some people will just have my video playing in the background, you know? Uh, it doesn't seem that way. <laughs> I'm about to say, um, I'm going to try and make like some sort of, some sort of like routine to kind of keep the ADHD in like place. Even if it has to be like going back to first impressions of like new games that come out 
or just fully committing myself to finishing a game that I start from now on, not going back and playing Noter ones I, or, or if people want to see those. Because it's gotten so bad that I've procrastinated and just come home and think to myself, do I want to record something? No, I want to watch videos. That is literally it. I want to watch videos. Then after I'm done watching videos, it's kind of like there's no time for me to actually edit or record anything because it's time for me to go to sleep to go to go back to work. Now I'm kind of getting into the routine to where I come back home and instantly start recording and I'll use whatever time I have left to watch like a video or two, then go to sleep. Then I'll just go to work whenever my lunch break goes in for an hour. I'll just catch up on videos. Uh, it's gotten to the point where I haven't been able to watch anime. So I've been behind on everything this season. So I'm just waiting for it to like basically end and know my off day. I'm going to be like, binge watch. <laughs> um, dude, I, mm, this is eye opening for me because I didn't think about it until I watched that video because I was just, you know, scouting around it. Shout out to uh, Psych2Go because that actually helped me out a lot of knowing what I'm dealing with because I literally check off on all those symptoms. And I've watched other ADHD videos which basically tell me the same thing at that point. Um, yeah, just go and look at my channel videos. You'll see that I, I am all over the place, dude. I, I can't even find like one single game. It's gotten to the point also where my thumbnails, sometimes I don't even make thumbnails because I don't even think about it. It just doesn't come into mind anymore. <laughs> it's just kind of like, just upload, think about it later. And does that later ever come? No, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. Don't, don't worry about that. It, it clearly doesn't. I can't do anything about it. I, the, a fucking excuse. <laughs> I have an excuse now. You can't say anything, all right? But at least I'm like, but I'm so happy with myself because I've kept up with YouTube for at least six years. Yeah, hold up. I started on 2015. Yeah, six years. I've been doing YouTube for six years, you know, haven't really gotten into like the 10,000s or anything. You know, I've been at 2000. Well, no, actually, I've been at 1000 for the longest. My YouTube channel got hacked and somehow the hacker got me up to 2000. It's slowly been going down over the past few months just because it's kind of like all these people don't know me. All these people are losing interest. It's, it's fine. Hey, everybody has their own sort of content. And I am all over the place. <laughs> I haven't found the right thing for me. And it's kind of like, yeah, it's demotivating. But it's also like, this channel is for memories for me. This channel is literally for my memories of myself as I'm going on. And how much I've evolved and changed as a person. And I am proud of myself for doing this for literally six years. And I can't express the massive amount of thank yous to those who have kept up with me through this journey. Because I do have some viewers who constantly come back and watch me. Some fans who also have been supporting me for like so long. Even if you guys don't leave likes on the videos. That's all right. I don't care. It's just like you viewed it. It, it could be like for, you know, 30 seconds. You can be like, ah, not my type of video. I'm going to click off. Hey. You took the time out of your day to click on that video, so fuck it. I still appreciate you. And it's just like, I just got to keep working and being active again. It's it's kind of hard because it's, I I just can't come up with like a s organized schedule for myself and just, I'll figure something out in the future. Um, As I'm going on with this. I've thought about like privating like half of my videos or unlisting them and putting them inside of a playlist or just 
recreating a new channel and just having this as a backup and starting fresh, I've thought about it and just going with like one theme. And that's just like the thing that keeps my interests and can keep my interest the most, which is roguelikes or horror games, horror games, roguelike, whichever. But I thought to myself, I already have too many channels that I've made. I made Wolf Knows No Fear. That channel is basically dead because I can't get back into it. But <laughs> I have two channels going on right now. And one of them I'm neglecting right now because I only have time for one channel. And the second channel is Wolf Does Mobile, which I'm just playing a whole bunch of mobile games. But there's something that I'll be doing for that channel real soon. To which fits my ADHD. And it's also going to be the same for this. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys. Uh, <laughs> I was going to just. Go out with my normal intro. But. Um, thank you guys so much. For everything. For being with me on this journey. I appreciate it. And to six years of doing this going on seven years real soon just saying september 21st is our uh anniversary so that that's already passed like two months ago <laughs> uh happy uh late anniversary <laughs> to me yeah youtube <laughs> but yeah you always can also catch catch me on um Twitch. I normally stream on uh, Thursday and Fridays, which are my off days. Most times that you guys are going to get from streams, because <laughs> that's the only days I get off, so that's as long as I can, you know, give you guys a long stream instead of fighting between it, of getting home and literally streaming for like three hours, then getting off and go to sleep and not uploading a video. So, yeah, nine to five, bro. Nine to five jobs. <laughs> Little nine hours. That's all I can. That's all I work, and pretty much all the time I can give before I have to go to sleep and, you know, be fully energized to go back to work. And look at me going on about nothing. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.